like the good old days back when I used to film in Buffalo. What's up, guys? It's Demetrius, also known as Grant's Logs, also known as Meech. Today, I got a little update video for the Schwinn Hurricane. And today, I'm going to explain everything that I did for it. It to get 24 miles an hour. All right, guys, here, I'm using that mic. Hopefully, it sounds pretty good. As you can see from the last video, we had a mid drive with the Farstrom battery. Fits on here, plugs in real nice with this controller I have. Here's a picture of the controller. And here's a picture of how I installed the controller. Um, just because it, it was easier, I have four zip ties over there, and I have two around the motor, uh, the uh, controller. Uh, that's how it's mounted into there. Um, everything works uh, as, as normal. Uh, plugs in all the same. Uh, the only thing you have to worry about is the tail light. Uh, with the tail light, uh, it's not necessary. Front light with the harness uh, pretty much plugs in, plugs in play, and works as normal. Uh, another thing that... Um, that I like about this is this this display here. One push turns it on. Got all the information that you need there. Um, time at the top, speed, pedal assist up to five. The throttle is based on the pedal assist, so you want to be in five to get the most out of it. Like I said, this thing goes 25 GPS confirmed. If you want this kit, all that stuff will be leaked down in the description below. Now, like I said, this battery right here was from the mid-drive kit, but you can get it online. That'll also be linked down there below. A couple other things that you need to, to actually get this thing going. Obviously, one, you'll need the controller. Two, you'll need the battery. Three, you'll need a display so you can control the motor, and you need a throttle. This controller is pretty finicky. This is the original display that I had on there. Unfortunately, this display did not work for it. Apparently, the controller needs a specific KT display to actually work, and I didn't know that at the time. So this one or any other KT display, um, I'll highlight it here with a picture um, or what KT looks like in terms of when you're searching for it. This kit uh, is obviously something that's going to void the warranty of the motor. If you don't want to change the motor out, but you want to get a little bit more speed out of it, I'd recommend going this route. I haven't had any issues. I've been, I've been test driving this thing for about a week now. Uh, while you guys are you know, watching all the other videos, that's what I've been doing. If you guys are seeing this, um, it is a little late. So I'm trying to do like Wednesday uploads and stuff like that. Let's take this thing on a little quick ride and I'll show you guys a little bit more stuff. All right, let's, let's see if I can do this. like this actually if we try and do it this way sorry if you guys are flopping around but i gotta make sure i don't drop this this is the only one i have and uh this thing is pretty torquey now like it'll it'll send you if you're not prepared Little backstory on this, uh, not a backstory, I guess. More as I was really interrupted by a bump in the road, I wanted to tell you guys about the controller. It's a 25 amp, 36 volt, 48 volt controller that I got off of Amazon. Yeah, you can you can feel it. Another thing about this controller. And I think it's not the controller, I think it's the motor. The motor doesn't have a speed sensor, so it only registers speed when the throttle is in motion. Like I'll show you guys. Right now, it's I'm, I, I assume I'm going like at least four or five miles an hour, but the only time you can feel that is when you're, sorry, it's got a lot of torque when you're on the pedal. <laughs> a little wonky for, for some reason, some strange reason. Oh, this thing needs uh, some suspension. 
Oh, yeah. And now, uh, you know, this, this thing is it's kind of crazy. All right, so let's try top speed. Oh, I gotta hold this here real quick. Uh, I think the display is kind of wonky. Uh, I've been using to say 24 on the dash on the display. But something's going on and it doesn't display that. For some reason, it tells me it's going 60, 49. I got all perfect. I'll give you guys a little rundown on how to edit this thing. Pretty simple, actually. Unfortunately, though, you have to turn this off, and within a few seconds of turning it on, then you can hold the uh, plus and minus, and you get all this here. Up and down, and then the power button to select. I don't remember any of this stuff. And I'll also link down in the description the the meaning behind all this because they give you a manual, but it doesn't come with all the stuff that you need, like, like the information of what all this means. So I'll link that down in the description because that is a useful item to have. And I'll also share the settings that I have and what I've changed. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the display. Here, I'll uh, turn it off from the battery. Turn it back on. Well, oh, still doing the same thing. All right, give me one second. All right, so I don't know what I did or what I changed. I think it was this one, number two. I put it down back to zero because for some reason it wasn't working on the other one. Now I think it's displaying correctly. And sorry about the dumb, double image. I have a case over my, my lens and it covers it. It's only when you're on the throttle. Still, still stand. But yeah, this thing is insane. Quirky. And... So if you want to do this upgrade, everything is deep down below. And like I said, you'll avoid the warranty. So, uh, oh, shit. just keep that in mind. And I'll see you guys on the next one. If you have any questions, please drop them down below. And uh, I'm going to have some more fun with this thing.